I mean, first one me that comes up, to mind me for notes. me, I don't even need my notes, is who do you like better, me or Connor? Okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's a great question. And there's no wrong answers. Um, so <laughs> no, there's no wrong answers. Seriously, Kelsey. <laughs> so when it comes to the two of you, yeah. Um, <laughs> go on. It's just like, who do you like better though? I don't, I think, I don't think I can choose. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's hard. Like to, you're, it's like picking a favorite kid right. or parent. A favorite right, child. A favorite child. Um, because you guys like, you guys offer me different things mm. and I love you both mm. so much. Right. And you're both so special. That's true, I guess. Right. Better though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> These mics are so crisp. You can There's, hear everything. They really I are. Can almost hear That's my so thoughts. weird. I didn't say anything <laughs> though. That's fine. I'll punch you in the face. Shut up. Okay. This is like ASMR. Shut up. My mouth isn't even moving. I know. I'm not get- either. Welcome to Brooklyn Connor started. Make a Podcast. <laughs> you know how you kind of always have to poop when you go into Barnes & Noble? Yes. That's how I feel when I come into this studio. And I don't know what to do I've about it. I've never pooped in Barnes & Noble. Well, girls don't poop, so that That's makes true. sense. That's true. I've never pooped. Right. So that makes sense. But whenever I go into a Barnes & Noble, I think it's maybe because I get so excited. Yeah. Yeah. Or because it kind of smells like coffee or something. Like immediate. That's what it is. Like enter. I'm going right to the young adult section to the bathroom. In the Y. That's a, in the Y. Well, that's where the bathroom's located. It's a pretty universal experience. I think that, like, you know how sometimes at airports they'll pump in the Auntie Anne's smell. So you want to get Auntie Anne's. So you want to get Auntie Anne's. Maybe there's they're it's they're pumping in. Not they're true. They don't pump in the Auntie Anne's. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They pump it in. Kelsey, I'm so glad you're here because I was just like, yeah, I do know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> that is making complete they sense. They pump to me. it in. <laughs> They pump it in. The vents? There's, the vents. There's no way that they can choose anything to pump in. They're pumping in Auntie Anne's. <laughs> what would you pump in if you could pump pump, <laughs> if you could pump it in? <laughs> what, would you, what would be your now, choice? If you could pump one thing, what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> Just like in general, I'm like into the vents of the airport. Um, I guess vents of the airport. If I could pump one thing into the vents of the airport, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to say that it would probably be the smell, the sweet, sweet <laughs> smell of... Um, Chick Fil A. Yeah, I actually don't yeah. like Chick Fil A, so I don't really know why I said that. Yeah, In and Out. Regardless, <laughs> regardless, I don't I think they're pumping anything. Just looking at Brooke, like, what did we do? Why did we have her? No, <laughs> no. I, I think. Are you kidding me? This oh. is the best day of my life, Kelsey. This this thank you so much life. for coming. Also, well, we, he, speaking hey of pooping in Barnes and Noble, <laughs> the, it, Barnes and Noble. That's right. That's the name of it. Barnes and Noble. Absolutely. <laughs> Barnes Wait, and, it's just it's noble, singular noble. noble singular noble plural barn. plural barns <laughs> barns and noble speaking of barn, pooping on barns and noble this is our guest kelsey kreppel kelsey <laughs> thank you so much for coming we Hello. are just your biggest fans i'm so honored to be here before we get started um mm-hmm. i'm so sorry about this green thing on my sweatshirt somehow no one told me that i couldn't wear green cody who works here? Cody Kreppel. Uh, Cody Kreppel to the principal's me. office. So, for anyone who doesn't know, Cody works here. At- yeah, Cody. Cody is, does is. his podcast here as well as Brooke and Connor. Um, and he didn't say right. Maybe not the big green frog. But in, here we are. So in sorry your defense, if it, gets, if it gets weird. In your defense, Kels, we were told me and Connor. I wore absolutely it. not to wear green. Under any circumstances. And on the first day, I showed up in <laughs> green pants, full green, not even like jeans with green on them, green corduroys. And Connor green had hat. a green hat. And then the next week, I wore green pants. It's, yeah. So I would have it's never okay. it's a thought about curve. it. No, it is never. a learning curve. I'm just, thank you guys for helping me learn and grow. Literally, that's that is where we pod- are. That yeah. is what this podcast is all about. That's why we made this about. podcast. About Seriously. Learning and, about learning and growing. Specifically. I love that. For you, yeah, Kelsey. <laughs> mm-hmm. So thank, thank you, you for and thank you guys, you know, for and again, sticking with thank me. you so much. And thank you. At guys. the end of the day, I want to say one more from over here. Just <laughs> thank you from all of us here, yeah, and, and there, and anyone listening, thank you as well. Yeah, the gratitude is 
Good. Yeah, it's seriously. Good so go Rams. Am I right? So go oh Rams. my God, so go Rams. Good weekend good all around. Good weekend all around. Good, good weekend, weekend to live in LA. It was actually a very good weekend. It was to live so in LA. fun. Yeah. It was, every every weekend of my life, I've lived in LA, and I would say this was one of the best ones. Really? What was your favorite part? Yeah. Um, probably hanging out with you guys. That's my favorite part too. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was really see. fun. We had a good weekend. We had together. a really good weekend. Let's. That's, what did we do? Should we recap? Well, Friday I wasn't with you because I was busy with. I was with Flo, R- 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 Rida. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, kind of just dancing and singing with him. Right. How did you guys meet? On Hinge. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I don't understand. I was at an <laughs> NFL party. Right, which, um, which in and of itself goes, is... Uh, goes without saying, <laughs> hosted by someone named Gronk. Right. Yeah, well, Gronk. Gronk, of course. Gronk. So, it, Rob? Uncle isn't Gronk. His, isn't his first name Rob? Robert yeah, Gronkulis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Gronkulis. So it was a party hosted by Gronk, and I just kind of wheeled my way in there. And I'm here so um, I saw, I didn't go, but I right. was seeing Snapchats. And were you on the stage mm-hmm. with Florida? Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. And how was that? Yeah, he's a really more, did he's you get just to a, know him? A great guy. Yeah. Um, and that's we were dancing and singing. Did you guys grind? We a little hip to hip grinding. Ooh, Not so much. Okay. Crotch to to butt. More of a side to side situation. Nice. But yeah, we were dancing together, me and Flo, and he was singing right round and I was singing right round as well. <laughs> I was hoping with him. Yeah. So I was up sta- on stage with Flo and then I keep thinking you're talking about the progressive, progressive flow. Progressive, yeah. no. It's just kind of me and Flo are Rida. Right. Are so close that first name basis. Right. But that was really fun and unexpected. And then the next day I saw you two, which was obviously better than, yeah. than Flo Rida could right. ever be at the Cameo House. At the Cameo House. At the Cameo House. house. And you two had special VIP clearance to be admitted to the second floor. We did. And I did not. So I was able to scream at you from, from below. below deck mm-hmm. while you were on the roof. But let's not stop there. And, and let, Kelsey was able to get me security clearance. I was. By Thank getting you so me a much. wristband. And I said, I, my friend Brooke is down there and she needs to be up she here needs to be up here. And I owe you my life for that. Anytime. Seriously. I was also you were up there kind as well. of s- bringing down one singular wristband for like nine people yeah. until yeah. I was intercepted. The, oh, you got caught? In terms of Who caught Super you? Bowl weekend. Just the guy that every single time I walked by goes, yeah, you're good. And I'd bring a new person right. every single time. Right. <laughs> you yeah. are a, her- a hero. Mm-hmm. Thank you for your service. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's just like what I do as a friend yeah. of many. That's amazing, Connor. Oh, thank you. We showed up together. I actually dressed Connor for yeah. the occasion. Wow. Yeah, yep, it's true. He I, was looking extra chic. He was looking pretty chic. Yeah. It was pretty good. And then I I was sent uh, my photos because it, I was insisted by the cameo team in the front that I needed to go in front of the step and repeat and take solo pics yeah. mm-hmm. with nobody next to me. And they took about 40 and there was a line of 50 people that was just watching me do like different poses. And, and so that so, was something yeah, for that, me, that thing you're with super the step hot. And repeat, yeah, good thing. Yeah, wait, good thing. Um, for me with the step and repeat, <laughs> the girl told Cody to take a picture and he was like, okay, Kelsey, let's take a picture. And I posed for about two and she said, okay, just Cody by himself, please. <laughs> and that personally really um, affected me yeah. for about five minutes. Of course. I was pissed. And I said, Cody, I, I have pissed. beef. I have beef with that girl. I would have clocked her if you told me. It's like... She, I know exactly what you're talking about because she too. was the one that didn't give me security clearance, even though I asked. I don't. It's <laughs> like, who are you? Yeah, you know. Oh yeah, I I'm I'm okay though. Okay, well, no I'm, hard feelings, girlfriend. Literally none. <laughs> Seriously. Any, anyway, it was a good. It was a, <laughs> it great was a night. good night, and then we went back to our friend's house and and we did dugied and soldier the boy. Wanna, you, there was no reason for you to. Attack me in that way. In what way? Connor. Sorry. Four days day, four days no. after. You did amazing. Four days after I hit the Dougie. There's nothing more jarring than like, kind of like the, the, the Saturday was, kind of, there was so much going on. We so did waterfront yeah. for Friday beers. Mm-hmm. And then we get to the house that like, it was kind of all a blur. And so that kind of escaped me until I remembered Sunday that I did hit the Dougie for like, a couple minutes and then there was For like the a, right. entirety of the song yeah so yeah oh, just yeah. a few but it was it, really good at least i was in while sober which i don't think i think should be illegal no yeah 
I and think, I don't even know how to Dougie. So I was just making some sort of like bring it around town from SpongeBob movement with my as body. As someone well, who watched both of you, Dougie, you both did amazing. You were actually you were, cheering us on. And yeah, you are the biggest cheerleader. I well, and I always like I would not have done that if you weren't there because you're my safe space. Oh my god! And I feel so safe and supported when I'm with you that I would Dougie while not under the influence. Should you Dougie right now? <laughs> Do you mind hitting that shit? Do I mind? Uh, I don't know we, if I like, want to slap the... that shit right now. Do you mind laying I, it? I could Dougie while while sitting. You want to do a seated? Dougie. I'm going to do a seated, like a sitting dive. <laughs> when you kind of dive off the pool, like so, when you're learning to dive, <laughs> okay. I would feel comfortable doing a sitting. I'm thinking of the stanky leg. So now, you can do either. Okay. Now that you, why don't you just do it? Like get up there and can can I? Do I have permission to stand up? Is that okay during a podcast? Okay. Oh, I'm freaking out. Here, I'm we so can take a mic. Okay. You need both your arms teach. for the Dougie. I, then I don't know what a Dougie is. Teach me how to Dougie. Teach me, teach me. Oh, oh yeah. stinky. Oh. oh, is it stinky in here? <laughs> I'm going to throw up. It smells so gross Oh, my here. God. Yucky. You did kind of hit that shit, You though. really did. Yeah. Okay, stinky. Thank you, guys, for <laughs> giving me. Girl. Again, thank you for giving me the safe space to stanky like that was on, seriously the, good. on the internet. Yeah. yeah. I think that was is something that I'll remember forever. And will I remember? And and, and I too. <laughs> just I didn't say anything there. I'm. You took the words out of my mouth. Well, thank you guys for your support. I feel really good. You guys are just finishing each other's sentences. Yeah, it's cute. So and then we had that that evening, and then um, <clears throat> Sunday was the actual Super Bowl. Yeah, that wasn't even the big game. That was no. That was just the precursor. Was the, oh, we haven't even gone to the big. game Haven't yet. even gone to the big game yet. The, the Revolve girls were still just. Revolving around the around sun, the they were revolving around. Yes, had no idea what was coming. Sunday. What's it gotta take for us to go to one of those? Yeah, no, I just I, we should have gone. I I feel like I I didn't answer my emails. Oh uh, well, again, I wasn't granted security clearance. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try to go? Mm, no, but I don't think I th- think that would even be in. I think I think it seemed glamorous. Uh huh. But as they say, Instagram is just the highlight reel. So true. And we had probably had more fun stanky legging and duggying and I soldiering, totally etc. Soldiering. Soldiering on. I, soldiering on. I don't feel like Instagram is my highlight reel. Um well, You feel like you're having more fun. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> Actually I, Do you do you don't like your Instagram? I or? feel like I post the the like I posted a picture of a mailbox today and I was like, I love this kind of mailbox. But I never remember to post when I'm like having fun. I think that I, maybe um you know the kind of mailbox that's like blue and round and it just kind of has it has four legs on it. So like this U- USPS one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, like the government like, yeah. official mailboxes? Yeah. That's so weird. My favorite mailbox is the one that looks like the house that it's in front of. Oh, that's cool. Brooke? I can't believe I haven't given this any thought. I feel <laughs> god awful. Should I leave? <laughs> no, it's just, okay. Why don't you just take some time? Take some okay. time. This podcast it. is all about okay. learning and growing right. yeah. and creating a safe space yes. to think about. I think I'm just going to go with the classic like one that has the red flag on it. Oh, do all of them have that where you put do. it up yeah. when you, they do there's mail that, that need to, needs to be taken away. But I don't think everyone knows that that's what that's for. Mm-hmm. I so, learned recently. Yeah. yeah. You know what I learned this morning? What? Mm. That the toaster, the one through seven, is just how many minutes you're toasting whatever Wait, you're toasting. Really? It's not toastiness level. Oh, I, I don't did agree. not know that. I yeah. think you have a different think... kind of toaster. How did you I don't learn, have a toaster. How did you learn that? I saw Where it on Twitter you? today. Do you oh. mind me asking how we got from Super Bowl to mailbox to toaster? <laughs> that's none of our That's none of our That's none of our business. That's none of our business. <laughs> <laughs> that is, we do not need not to concern delve into us. that. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Um, um, but yeah, that's something I learned this morning. I like pride myself on keeping an open mind about things like that toasters yeah appliances appliances of all kinds i don't even have a microwave or a toaster because i'm out of counter space oh look at this what are the dial controls how much much electricity electricity goes through the switch so it is about toasting it is about toasting yeah so it's absolutely everything you said was the exact opposite of what's and I can't believe this just popped yeah. up. Isn't that amazing? It what really they can, is. I feel technology. like we're in a smart house. I know. Remember that movie? Good movie. So good. So good. Smart house. My mom's on a date with a vampire. Pixel perfect. My date, My with, date the with the president's, president's daughter. daughter. Jinx, you owe me a uh, soda. I could go on. But I... So the Super Bowl was so... <laughs> okay, yeah. We have to talk so about fun. the actual Super Bowl. 
Connor, I don't think I saw you on the day of the we big game. We didn't see you. No. Well, so the deal was that I had a couple friends in town and I was worried about getting security clearance to the cameo house and I didn't oh, want to have to pull any strings it. or have anybody got do anything. It. So we security went Security clearance is so hard. It really is. I know. So sometimes I'm just For, like, you know what? Yeah. And this is not to mean offense to anyone in this room. Okay. Oh my God. I Who is it going to be me? Are you? It's going to be me. <laughs> it's going to be but me. 100%. I was kind of in the mood to be with, like, oh, not, not. not- us. No, 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 I'm going to no, be no, in no, a no. foul us. mood for the no, rest no, no, of this no, no, podcast. No, 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 and no, no, I'll no. never open my doors for you again. Because Matt King was like, we're going to go to David Dobrik's house half, at halftime from the cameo. Uh-huh. I was like, I am kind of just like, I want to be it with like Your no, normies. That's how I feel when I hang out with you. Oh No, I wanted to see you guys. But, but <laughs> that was a diss on you, Con. Yeah, well, no, I got it. I picked it up, but I was just kind of... You, you, you know what I mean. Like, you I, I, no, I, I totally I get what you're saying. I didn't want to go, yeah. like, like, do it. I like, totally intro, get it. Like, meet babe, people. You are fine. Babe, 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 this is babe, a safe space. Seriously, yeah. you know that. Do not worry about that. But you, okay. you really missed out. No, you not did. to make you feel no, bad at all. No, but to be honest, I know that I missed out. Mm-hmm. But I did have a good time. And I'm happy that you had a good time. I'm happy that you yeah, had a good time. Just know that we had a better one. I was aware because I was on my phone watching. Were you having FOMO? Watching your y'all's every move. And it did look really fun. It, well, it was we were at the cameo house for most of the day. You were yeah. at the cameo house for the majority, right? And then, and then you, who were you wanting to win? Kels? Well, okay, so I was rooting for the Bengals, right? And I, that that's not to say that I wasn't rooting for the Rams, right? You know, no, what I it mean? is not to say it's that. not to say that I wouldn't think that. I was more just like I have a friend who really likes the Bengals. She just absolutely loves them. And it would would feel wrong not to support her in that. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, the Rams were to win, which they did. I would jump up and down and scream, which I did. You that know, doesn't and mean, and I wouldn't say I'm like a front runner. And what? And like, Since? I only choose for like who wins. Right. I only root yeah. for who wins. I would say that I'm I'm a supportive viewer. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I was confused because I didn't know who to root for right. on account of me never having heard of either team before. Can I just take a guess on what you're going to say? Yeah. You fell in love with someone at the party who was a Bengals fan, and so by proxy, you became a Bengals fan. Uh, I'm just taking more a More or less. No, I fell in love with someone before the party. Okay. Basically, but- I am obsessed with Kelsey's brother, Kevin Kreppel. <laughs> oh, right. Who is just the greatest guy in the world. Imagine Kelsey in guy form. It's scary. Anyway, and make taller and taller. Love you, Kev. Anyway, Kelsey said she's rooting for the Bengals. So I'm like, oh, duh. Kev is also rooting for the Bengals. I'm cheering for the Bengals the whole time. Kind of wondering why Kev is cheering at the opposite time as right, me, right. but didn't think to connect the dots that he wasn't rooting for the Bengals. Right. So at the end, I went up to him and I was like, damn, like, man, like so sad that we lost oh my God, you were trying to console him. i was trying to console him he was devastated clearly and i was like kev that is so sad and he's like what are you like what he was rooting for the rams okay right yeah he so was he was so i'm and i'm happy they won because all i want is kev's happiness right and that's my fault i shouldn't have led you astray and i should have told you when the tides changed right and when i, I was when i switched right. sides right and i didn't know i was blindsided kind right. of right and yeah. i'm sorry about that but um, the best part of that day is when, out of the corner of my eye, I spotted an absolute star. An absolute star in our from, presence at uh, the cameo party. Paxton Hall Yoshida from the Netflix show Never Have I Ever. Out of nowhere. I have a feeling a lot of this episode is going to go just right over my head. But I'm excited. Do you know that, that the Mindy Kaling show? No, that's not I haven't seen it. Girl, girl. It's so good. I pretty much need to be told what shows to watch. You would actually, actually probably before. not like should, it. No, Cody you loved think, it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I, I, it's easy for me to miss shows and then I'm late and then they're over. Anyway, I caught Pax in the Hall Yoshida. Yeah. Nice. That's his character's name. I'm not quite yet familiar on the actor's name. Are you? Oh, God. Oh, God, no. I thought, that's, I thought it was Paxton. That's Paxton. P-H-Y. Yeah, yeah, Paxton. And I spent a lot of time trying to find him. And then I finally did. And I'm the biggest hypocrite in the world because if anybody, like, ever recognize me, recognizes me, I'm like, please, like, just come up and say hi. Like, my least favorite thing Don't is when people pictures. kind of just, like, take pictures yeah. without me knowing or kind of just linger. I was 
standing <laughs> behind him, breathing <laughs> down his neck, Snapchatting every five seconds. Pax and Holly, she does so, like selfies. And then I went down to get Kels to and tell her yes. and brought her up immediately. And he had left. Yeah. Right. Because I was I, like, oh, I'll go talk to him for you. Right. That was like, a star studded. It was a star studded yeah. ensemble. You know who's always there, who I love? Who? Do you remember the game, the trivia game HQ? This was another Dan, one. This was another about. one. Dan, Scott Rogowski. Scott Rogowski. Scott Rogowski. Scott Rogowski of the trivia game HQ. I always love. Yeah. I mean. To see him. I missed him. I didn't see him. I know. I should have introduced you. That's completely on me. Yeah. And that's Again, fine. it was a matter of security clearance. And then we went to the bathroom together. Remember? And we yeah. walked in on the bathroom attendants. Uh, they, who were we were pretty probably, sure they were, they were, they were banging. banging. They, yeah, were they were not. They mm. were. Okay. So were we walked in. We walked into like the secret. <laughs> we walked into like the secret bathroom. Downstairs. Upstairs. No, Kelsey Upstairs. had security clearance to a secret right. bathroom. It's <laughs> just another. You just have to keep walking. I just think right. people just stop. Right. But if you just keep walking, there's right. another bathroom. And we walked in and no one was in there except for this girl and boy security or like. They were just like working at the party, right? And they were sitting on the couch, like there was it was a big couch. Canoodling? They were sitting like on top of each other, pretty mm-hmm. much, just like hey, like. And then Kelsey and we was like, immediately making comp. Where are you from? Yeah, it was like, like what are we? What are we doing? Because uh, yeah, like, I was so vibe? uncomfortable. Because yeah. I was like, I we just like cock blocked them, right? So bad. And I was dead silent, and then followed Kelsey into the and then we bathroom. Yeah. And then yeah. So I I think also we should set up the fact that this house was like it's very much. It's like that one movie that was really the Parasite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like that kind of vibe. It's like a big house, lots of rooms, big. Yeah, yard. you never know what's going on behind those. No, closed and there doors. there were it's a true. couple of sneaky link situations. That I I also walked into and I was like, I'm not supposed to be in here for you sure. You Walked in on sneaky link since like me and Pax and Hayashida kind of. Yeah, what were you guys like, doing yeah. in that closet that I walked? Right, that uh, yeah, uh, that's that was what I was so going to say. It's natural for me. When I'm in a new environment, mm-hmm. especially like a house to open that I've looked up door. on Zillow yeah. to see what's in every drawer, yeah. to look at all the closet space. Right, of course. And imagine what my life would be there. Right. Like there. Right. And then to see you two. You and Pat. And whatever yeah. you were doing. Yeah. She was like on his back. Oh. And he was oh, laying on the floor. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's really hot. That's re- wait, that's really hot. Well, yeah. you know how Brooke gets when she's <laughs> in a tube top? <laughs> I love no. Tube Top Brooke. <laughs> really? Kelsey, you know you're my fashion inspiration. You know what? That like actually means a lot to me because you have been crushing it really? lately. That look is, at that rowing blazers. I know. Thanks, guys. You look so good. Oh my God, you look so good. Well, I'm wearing a green frog on my sweatshirt. It's okay. Sweater. It's going to look great with the green screen. Thanks. Seriously. And it brings out your eyes. My green frog? Yeah. Thanks. And then after that, we we did end up going to David Dobrik's house. We yeah. did. We went we were, to Dave's mm-hmm. house. Oh, I got completely denied at the door. No. Truly horrifying. Um, so I was I was the one who got the invite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is like my time to shine. You know, usually it's like, Cody's like, can I bring Kelsey? And this time I was like, I'm bringing my squad right. to Dave's house. Squad deep. So we show up and I got the squad approved. They like everywhere it was told I was told everything was mm-hmm. fine. I got to the door and the guy's like, What's your name? And I was like, My name is Kelsey. And he was like, mm, Yeah, I'm not saying a Kelsey. He showed me the entire guest list. My name was not on there. And then someone walked out that I had met one time and I was like, Hey, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, Who invited you? And I was like, Um, Natalie invited me and he was like, And she's busy right now. No. <laughs> And I was like, Kelsey, you should have called me. I would have come right out of the hot tub to get you. This is horrifying. (laughs) No, (laughs) I was like, this is horrifying. And then like someone walked up and they were like, the guy was like, they haven't been checking all day. Yeah. That was come inside. Yeah. And then I saw Natalie and she was as lovely as ever. Yeah. But it was embarrassing for me. Dang. Yeah. That was fun. It was fun. It's fine. It was worth it once it got It was worth it once. Yeah. That's great. I went to a sports bar Mm -hmm. and it was really sticky, which is cool, which is awesome. It was probably pretty much, probably like a lot like being in David Dobrik's hot tub. Right. That was fun. What can I say? That was great. I I saw it on everybody's story that you were just solo in the hot tub. We got to talk about that. Okay. Let's let's talk about it. It was the most brilliant thing you've ever done. Really? Well, you came up to me and you said- I think I'm going to have to go get in the pool. Will you come in with me? Right. 
And I said, I'm not going to jump in at all. Right. But um, do you really think that's a good idea? Right. And you were like, I feel like I might regret it, but I'm going to do it. There was no one in there, by the way. No, it yeah. wasn't like a pool party. No, Brooke it wasn't was in a pool her party. cute skirt my, and mm-hmm. her tube. And my tube. I was tubing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was totally, I, t- I was totally tubing. And then I thought you could like, just kind of were like, oh, maybe I just won't do it. Right. Like the, I thought that that idea That's a fair thought was over. Yeah. And then I was talking to Meg mm-hmm. and she was facing mm-hmm. the pool. Mm-hmm. And she, in the middle of our conversation was like, okay, so Brooks, Brooks in the hot tub. Right. And then I turned around. Sure enough. There you were. Right. In my clothes. Skirt floating yeah. around. Yeah. Skirt floating around my like like region. there was a hula yeah. hoop in it yeah like yeah. a river nymph just completely alone <laughs> I had a ping pong ball in there vibing with the ping pong ball throwing it down on the water I was in there for probably 45 minutes you were but you had a couple of like supportive yeah, friends some people would come like, and check and in sat hey, next to you okay. yeah. yeah I'm completely fine why right yeah why do you ask yeah, why do you ask you're kind of like a siren yeah just True. kind of floating and chilling and I do have the voice of give us something give us how you how, how you lured it's people it's just in. kind of my speaking or, voice or you know what we could move on from the weekend recap. We could, but I do oh. want to talk about the fact that Kelsey wasn't coming into the hot tub with me because she was talking to Madison Beer. No way. For who, like who an asked, hour. Who asked actually if we were sisters. Really? That yeah. is the biggest compliment. And I yeah. do want to draw your attention to the fact that a lot of the comments we get, specifically this one. At the is, top here. Um, I mean this in the best <laughs> way possible, but they are Walmart, Cody, and Kelsey. <laughs> Which is that's, huge. That's awesome. I, because Walmart is... Walmart's a, a, a top tier establishment. It is. And it, you could go there and you don't even have to... It has everything. It really it does. They, you everything. know what they mean by that? They mean that you have more than me and Cody have to offer. No, because no. you're... Because Walmart has everything. You guys would be... You're Nordstrom. Yeah, Brooke, I was going to say Nordstrom. You were going to say yeah, Nordstrom. No, but Brainwave. does Nordstrom have Lysol? Does... Walmart have Steve Madden cowboy cowgirl boots in in size seven. (laughs) Okay, so I'm Steve Madden. That's great. Uh, I honestly love Steve. (laughs) I love Steve too. Um, Steve. I also have gotten. I out of all the celebrity lookalikes I get, you're like the oh, I'm the celebrity. (laughs) Yeah, you're my celeb. You're my local (laughs) favorite celeb, but you're my favorite one to get. Um, I've also gotten thick Kelsey T H I C C (laughs) two C's. Um. Which, but you got but thick Kelsey, Kelsey can, can get, get it. it. So that's completely fine. Uh, yeah. And I really appreciate it. And I would even appreciate thick Kelsey without the can get it. Although I don't can I don't identify as thick with two C's. I think that he just meant fat. <laughs> I give completely because I, I don't know what to say. I think thick you have to have a butt and I You have my, a great my, butt. Kelsey, my butt goes inside of my body. Like literally <laughs> I thought stand I've seen up, like back, back, and then inver- inverted. And you do then, not have an inverted butt. Oh, I have. There's literally no difference between my butt cheeks and my upper thigh <laughs> and, and also my lower back. <laughs> I so when it's not I about picture the size of the tip. To, wait, yeah. totally. It's about I'm just saying I don't think I could be considered thick with two C's is all I'm saying. Well, it's nothing never, wrong with having a butt that goes inside of your body whatsoever. What? I didn't know you had tattoos. That's all. Oh, really? I got a couple tattoos. Um. Anyway, I think you have a beautiful ass. Am I allowed oh, to say my, ass? Yes. Sh- I, yeah. I, I encourage it. Ass. 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 Good ass. job, ass. guys. Ass. 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 Copyright infringement. <laughs> um, well, okay, okay. So, like all together, everything yeah. considered, a great weekend. Great weekend. Great weekend. Such I a just good weekend. like. I feel like I just recovered. I didn't get like, I did, too I crazy. Haven't. Oh, I'm feeling. Today's my. So today's good. the closest I've come to feeling 100. Okay, I'm feeling. Oh, really? I'm feeling. Yeah. That, like I'm still pretty puffy mm-hmm. from the weekend. Didn't ice roll. You didn't. Uh, which is fucked. That was your first mistake. Yeah, yeah. but it's fine. I was, um, I was ice rolling. I was ice rolling all myself all the way here. to town. Yeah. Aren't you worried about it melting in the car? No. So now I just use cans of drinks, whatever is in my fridge, because <laughs> oh, it works the same way. And wow. then I just you are such an we, innovator. And then I drink the can. Smart and then I drink and it. Hot. Ooh. Smart and hot. What else can we ask for? Uh, you can. <laughs> Lou and Connor's like, I, you cannot <laughs> get better than this. <laughs> um. Well, I didn't have any sort of celebrity. Anything you didn't see Paxton Hall Yoshida? Um, no, not or Flo Rida. You saw Jaden. Jaden, oh, Jaden was cool. Jaden and Nessa were really nice. Um, and I like was down there and then was so confused why I was down there. That mm-hmm. was bizarre. 
No, you and I were talked. amazing. You I were could just, not he couldn't stop, stop talking. talking. No. I look over, I'm like, I'm talking to Jane and I'm like, blah, 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 blah. I'm showing them my mug shot. I look over <laughs> at Cody and Kelsey and they're just like. <laughs> yeah, you get really, really chatty when you meet. But it was okay. Cool people. I don't. Yeah. I you're great. Right. Like, it wasn't I, bad. I was just talking so much that like I lost full control and it was just like, it was just coming out. And eventually they just were like. I think we were like, it's, it's we gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah. yeah. Um, anywho, so anywho, great Kelsey, weekend. we have some questions for you. Oh my if, God. Let's answer If that's them. okay with you. I mean, first one that comes up, to mind for notes. me, I don't even need my notes, is who do you like better, me or Connor? Okay. That's yeah. That's a great question. And there's no wrong answers. Um, so. <laughs> no, there's no wrong answers. Seriously, Kelsey. <laughs> so when it comes to the two of you. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> it's just like, who do you like better though? I don't, I think, I don't think I can choose. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's hard like to. You're, it's like picking a favorite kid. Right. A parent. A favorite right. child. A favorite child. Um, Because you guys, like, you guys offer me different things mm. and I love you both mm. so much. Right. And you're both so special. That's true, I guess. Right. Better than me. Yeah. Okay. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> These mics are so crisp. You can There's, hear everything. They really are. You can almost hear That's my so thoughts. weird. I didn't say Fucking anything, though. ASMR. <laughs> That's fine. I'll punch you in the face. Shut up. Okay. This is like ASMR. Shut up. My mouth isn't even moving. I know. I mine's not either. Rick, shut the fuck up. Okay, you're scaring <laughs> the shit out of me. You're actually that? scaring the shit out of me. So it was moving. It, yeah, it was yeah. shaking. Rick, I Connor, you're scaring me. Okay, sorry. Moving on. What's, All right, I have a question, question yeah, for Kelsey. Pull out, I'm pulling out. I have a whole note. So I'm so excited. One big question. Yeah. One big question that a lot of people asked um, that was coming in, I, it was probably, do you think global warming is a good thing? <laughs> um, I, that's got my wheels turning. <laughs> Not going to lie. I think it's important I, to consider all to, sides. Yeah. I don't think so. Okay, so Kels is anti-global Interesting. warming. Interesting. Okay. Cancel. Sue me. Title of the podcast Kelsey's anti-global Kelsey. warming Kelsey and global warming let's talk about it <laughs> red, I'm red, so at the red um, table, knowledgeable the red on this <laughs> you, yeah. I clash no, no. You, you're looking perfect <laughs> no <laughs> clash no okay next okay um my next question for you Kels is something that we have in common is that we were both preschool teachers mm. yeah we were and I guess I'm kind of wondering are you still preschool teaching Oh, thank you so much for asking. For no that. problem, Kels. Um, so what I do now is I go into the school like once a week-ish, mm -hmm. and I help my boss uh, just do stuff in the office. What kind of stuff in the office? We're all curious. <laughs> What are I feel you like doing you're going to bring office? her out because I've been a bad employee lately. Let's bring her out. Kelsey's <laughs> boss. Everybody. Um, I help her with like paperwork and like getting uh, kids into the mm -hmm. into the system and mm -hmm. like very doing re-registration stuff. Mm -hmm. Very hot. That is very um, hot. You're wearing a tube top when you do this in the Oh, in yeah. The I, I, I like, I'm like a slutty teacher. Mm -hmm. I dress up in like a slutty teacher that's Halloween sick. costume. I, that's one of the best movies. Slutty teacher. Slutty, slutty teacher. teacher. Isn't that? I think that was a bad teacher. Slutty teachers, like on Pornhub. Oh wait, I'm confusing. Oh, you, you, I'm confusing you mixed my up your two, styles. your medias. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Easy A and um, slutty teacher. Wait, Connor, I have a follow up question. Okay, on that yeah, before no, you no, get no, into of your course. next one. Sorry, we'll take it. So, did the parents know who you are, as in Kelsey Kreppel? Um, they know me as Miss Kelsey, right? And I kind of want to keep it that way. Yes. Sometimes, like if I get comfortable with a parent. Mm -hmm. It will be brought up. It will be brought like up. Like my boss will say something. Like because my boss knows and she thinks it's funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes she'll bring it up. Mm -hmm. But not everyone knows. There was one parent one time that I was not comfortable, like not like uncomfortable with, mm -hmm. but just not like didn't know him. Right. And he was like, love your vids, by the way. And that, and so that's when I considered like Quitting. never coming back yes. to the school. But it's fine. I think. Yeah. That's. I remember. I was still teaching. Well, I went virtual and then downloaded TikTok, but one of the parents said over Zoom in front of all the other parents that were also on Zoom that they found my TikTok oh, and then no. I quit the next day. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I can't really think of anything worse than them like sending my videos around in their class email chains being, being like, look what 
teacher Brooke is is doing she's up to via, the, she's at home. via the internet right yeah me but talking luckily, about like, shitting all your my videos pants. were like funny it's not like you were like can it, you imagine if you're like did, you yeah. took like a different approach to right. social media or if you did videos that I do about like when I'm joking about smoking crack right right either or I feel like there were a lot about like shitting my pants but that's fine that's like a natural human experience it shows that you're right. like one with their kids one with their kids yeah when is the, the last time also. that you guys had that experience Pants pants my yeah. pants. Well, we just said girls don't poop, so I'm not sure what part of that you it's, didn't understand. It only has happened to me in my 20s. I've uh, peed my pants recently. Recent, yeah, well, recently. Okay. Anyways, um, I have a question. Okay. What's that? And this is for both of you. Something mm-hmm. else you have in common. You're both preschool teachers. You're both Jewish. Yeah. So my question would be, you're, you have a child, Chili, that's being raised in a home. Yeah. With you, mm-hmm. you're, do you consider Chili to be Jewish? Your dog? Are you raising okay, him? Okay, Connor asking the, with the, the same, questions everyone wants to hear. <laughs> everyone's yeah. been asking this. Everyone's yeah. been asking, Is your, do you, are you raising Chili under so, okay. the Ten Commandments? Yeah. Thank you for asking if I raise Chili under the Ten Commandments. Um, <laughs> Thank I you so do. much for your question. I So I personally am, I'm half Jewish. My dad is Jewish. Mm-hmm. My mom is Catholic. Oh, oh yeah. Gee. So, jeez, jeez, Jesus What's Christ, up? actually, mm-hmm. our Father. In a way, yeah, yeah um, good point. and a carpenter at the same time, and a Jew. Uh, yeah, a Let's Jewish carpenter. Yeah, Let's something we all yeah share with him. So right. he's all of the above, as am I. Um, so Chile is actually. A quarter? A quarter. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's 25%. So, but he does celebrate Hanukkah with his mom. That's oh the God. answer we were all looking for. That's, yeah. That's going to really clear some things yeah. up. I yeah. Think, in the, in the yeah. The I sweetest. think it's going to make things worse for me probably in some form. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I've also dug myself a hole Oh, today. my God. No. So I'm only taking Brooke's questions from now on. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> you guys, that was fine. <laughs> Oh, she says it's yeah, fine. I'm okay. full 99.98% Ashkenazi. Jew according yeah. Ashkenazi Jew according to 23 me and I approve this message. Okay. Yeah. There that we was go. fine. Okay. You kind of you kind of did a little bit of a Julia Fox voice there. <laughs> I approve <laughs> this <laughs> message. <laughs> I mean, I just have to be an Ankaja. 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 What is amuse to you? I mean, I mean <laughs> you going? Say it. I mean, like, I was Josh Shafty's music on Kaja. I was Josh Shafty's music on Kaja. Do you know what I mean? Like, things like that. Things like, like that, you know? You know what I mean? It was like, things like that. You know what I mean? The funniest thing. The first time I saw it, I was like, there's no, like, this is an SNL skit. It's she was, insane. She was an SNL skit. They will never be good enough. You will never be good enough for the pussy. <laughs> I, so I didn't see, I didn't see oh, all I of didn't see, I just it. saw on Kajam. I, it. Yeah. I only saw on Kajam. <laughs> yeah. I got jams. Um, um, okay, my I'm next. I'm sorry we got that. No, that, that was, was good. good. That, that needed that to be really good. That we it did. got that out of here. Okay, Kels, my next question is a relationship Ooh, advice question. Yeah. Love that. And it's kind of like a six-parter. Okay. I have like a full paragraph here written. It says, first part is how do I find the Cody to my Kelsey and then space... What's it like being half of the internet's favorite couple slash do you ever feel pressure when people ask you how to find the Cody to your Kelsey? For example, is that annoying? <laughs> is the question. Okay. Let me know if you need me to repeat it or break yeah, it down. I think I've grasped okay. that. Um, so I don't think it's annoying mm-hmm. coming from you. Okay. Um, and if it was coming from, from, from Connor, this side of the I, And room? you could also ask me. I can't give you much of an answer. Right. Right. Um, On how to find. How to find the, it. The Kelsey to your Cody or Cody to your Kelsey. Yeah. I think you have to just like not look for mm-hmm. it. Mm. I wasn't looking for Cody when he walked right. into my life. You weren't. You know, I was actually looking, trying to look away from Cody. Right. Right. And right. then I couldn't resist. You key. So it something magnetic. that both Brooke and I are really good at, and I'm glad you brought this up, is not lifting a finger and waiting for things to fall into our laps. Right, that mm-hmm. is. And yeah. so this is actually... It's gotten you guys far, though. Not in mm. terms of finding my Kelsey. Right. What, you want to find me? Yeah. And, well, either. I'll take either. But you know, you're um, my safe space. What can I say? You're my hunky. 
<laughs> you're my Stop. muse. You're oh my, muse. my god, you're my hunky. You're my hunky. Should we give a little context on hunky? Yes. If you don't mind, because I don't know. What you don't that know is. what hunky is? No. Do you want to tell it, or you want me to tell it? Well, Susu. Susu is my great aunt. Aunt Susu. Aunt Susu is yeah. Pop Pop's sister. For those of you. And Susu, there was a bit where Susu was loving being featured on my TikTok. And she was so amazing. And she was killing it. Absolutely. And Susu's very much, I don't know if everybody has the aunt that like is single and like very much like thinks that you are the greatest thing to exist. And like the hottest uncles and the hottest thing. Really? Like she will like she's so obsessed with in the best way i love susu more than anything with me and my siblings like we'll walk in and she'll like go oh my god literal movie stars literal movie stars. she's perfect everyone's a movie star and noah my brother she just like will just squeeze all over and be like oh my my hunky but anyway there was my hunky anyway there was one video that me and Susu posted of her reacting to different men. So it was like, oh, Ryan Gosling, yeah. love. Robert Pattinson, love. And then I threw Noah up and she goes, oh my God, that's my hunky. She my hunky. <laughs> absolutely lost it. She was like the most beautiful boy in the world. And He's like, my hunky. He's my hunky. Noah's, and she has compared Noah to Bradley Cooper before. And I could see that. Noah cute Jewish boy doesn't necessarily look like Bradley Cooper in the same way that when Kendall Jenner was on a commercial she looks at me and goes do you seriously not think you're that beautiful wait and I go, that's so sweet I, I know like I'm not in a self-deprecating way but like I don't look like Kendall Jenner but she like truly looks at me and sees Kendall Jenner and so I think everyone needs a susu in their life that sees you yes. and your brother I as love Kendall to Jenner. Go do a little hiatus. Susu says you're a movie star too. When my lease ends just to do maybe like a little confidence boosting sesh with, with Susu. Susu maybe yeah. in her house. Yeah, yeah. you should. And we should get her out her. here. Yeah, there was one time Lady Gaga was performing I think at the Oscars or the Grammys and she looked at me and goes, oh, you should be, you could do that. <laughs> She's I perfect. Agree. Yeah. I told you. She really I do has. agree with Susu as well. That I could be, yeah, that, yeah. that, that checks out. But anyway, that's, that's the, when we like we that's started when we talking. Really started I like connecting. DM'd her because I was like, I love that. And then there was the oh, video well, of when Susu thought she was going to be sued, right? Robert Pat- for saying Robert, Robert Pat- Patterson. 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 She, she loves Robert Pattinson. Thinks his name is Pat, just Patterson. And she was thinking she had previously said in a video that she was Mrs. Lady Patterson. Right. Because right. she loves, he's obviously a honk, Robert right. Pattinson. And she was like immediate, this is why she doesn't like to be in videos anymore, freaking out that she was going to get sued. Was literally looking out the windows, like waiting for the cops to come get her. <laughs> and so we had to issue a statement via my TikTok that she knows <laughs> that she is not that. Robert Pat, lady, she's no, she's not Lady Pattinson. She is not claiming to be married to Robert Pattinson in any way, but she would like to if that's an option. Right. And then she and stopped I hope being in my that videos. it is. Yeah. Oh my God. He would be the luckiest guy in the world to be he married would. to Susu. He would. Yeah. So I think another another good one, and I'll, it'll come from this side. I think. Did okay. you I don't. I don't remember if you asked this in your six parter. Oh, okay. No, no worries. Um, internet. Mm. Like, be it, you guys are both. I've I've seen you both in public, and you both get approached individually. What's it like being just like a couple on the internet? People are like, kind of watching you, and um, and 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 stuff. I'm yeah. so good at. I that's a really great stuff. question. Yeah. That was a good one. Thank you. Um, I do feel like that was a little bit in my six parter, but that's fine. You know well, what? Yeah. I but I needed to be reminded. You, of course. I just circled back. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Thank you for circling Something back. Good yeah. is, so. Sorry, I feel god awful. Um. <laughs> didn't I didn't mean for that to happen? I think it was a, both great questions. Mm-hmm. Those you, are totally Kelsey. fine. I didn't mean for that to happen. Continue. Okay. Sorry. Um. So, uh, what is it like being in a relationship on the internet? Can you reframe the question yeah, that sure. I asked? That's, I'm sorry. No, yeah. Oh my god! I like couldn't uh, remember what. This is exactly what I wrote word okay. for word. Okay. Part three. Okay. What is it like being half of the internet's favorite couple? Yeah, that's a good dash. One. Do you ever feel any pressure? Okay. Um. So I don't feel pressure mm-hmm. to like. I don't feel the kind of pressure that would be like, oh, what if we break up? Right. The world's going to be so sad. Right. Um, because we're not going to do that. Right. And I never really thought we were. Yeah. Not unless, even like, necessary. Not even a possibility. I just do that. I do yeah. that every, for everything. Yeah. Okay. Well, knock on wood. Knock on wood. But um, 
And the, but then at the same time, it's like if that were to happen, like it's everyone can learn from something like that. But that's besides the point because we're not going to. Yeah. Right. But I think that I also really think it's very important to make sure that people know that like we don't have a perfect relationship. Mm -hmm. Like in my vlogs and stuff, I like will not, I'm not scared to be like, oh, we just fought. Right. Because like whatever fight we're getting into is not that big of a deal. Yeah. But it happens with everyone. And I don't want people, I don't like when people just pretend that their relationship is perfect. It like is my, it drives me insane. Right. right. Because it's not. No no one is. That is beautifully said, So I don't feel the pressure to make it seem perfect because that would be a lie. Wow. And I'm not yeah. going to lie to the people who are and watching that's why that's incredible. your relationship is so, so strong. strong. Not to say, not it's, to perfect, say it's perfect. But, uh, thank you. but yes. gonna, I just I'm, mean I'm, like I'm, it's, I'm we just, you know. Fire, you get talking, you fired from this podcast talking. if you keep doing that. What are talking. you doing? He's repeating, repeating every word I'm saying. Oh, and I'll it's do kind too. of crazy how like people might think that me and Connor have the perfect relationship too just from watching this. People do. But we wouldn't lie. Tell them the truth. We fight sometimes, believe it or not. Yeah, it's hard to believe. It's hard to believe, but there are not, it's not always rainbows it, and rainbows sunshine. And yeah, sunshine. It's, it's not always, it's, it's almost not, ever. no. Um, it's rarely rainbows. Not rarely. <laughs> it's rarely. It's, it's a lot of, it's uh, a lot of. A lot opposite of rainbows yeah, and sunshine. Do you guys want to like hash anything out right now? No, um, I think we're okay. Oh. Okay, yeah, we don't have to. Offline about yeah, that. Don't have to. Um, I, I think that that's a, you raise a good point where like a lot mm -hmm. of people that we follow will have this like relationship and you you think you're following like one entity at that point. Mm -hmm. You're like, I'm following this couple. Yeah. A lot of pressure. It is a lot of pressure. But but Cody and I are two separate people. Yeah. yeah. And we're in love. Yeah. Wow, that is breathtaking. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Thank yeah. you guys. So sustained yeah. too. Thank you, Kels. Thank you. Okay, it's time for me to put on my glasses. Yeah. Because so we so I I, I wanna we're gonna like transition here into we have opened up our inbox, mm -hmm. dear B and C at gmail.com to have people write in. And we kind of like left it a little open ended what people can write in about. And man, oh man, did we people got a take lot it. Of oh, I'm so excited. Oh, good responses. Love your glasses. Thanks, Kelsey. You look really good in them. Really? Yeah. I hate myself in my glasses oh, because no, I think no, no. I can see myself. You are clearly so they're they're beautiful. Great. Thank you, Kels. You just I mean you're gorgeous. Stop. I could spend fifty more minutes going back and forth. <laughs> I feel like we should just start by saying, like, thank. There were so many emails. Oh, thank oh, you. Thank yes. you guys for writing. Thank in. you guys for writing. Such good manners. It yeah. was. It's awesome. But yeah. um, thank you guys. Thank you guys for writing. In Seriously, to thank you. I cannot say that. And K. <laughs> yeah, and welcome. So this <laughs> this first email. Um, is a follow up mm -hmm. from from last week, and Brooke, go, you could take it. Okay, basically, last week we got an email from a girlfriend who had a boyfriend, right? And this boyfriend had a best friend, female. Oh, okay. And she was basically expressing that she's not sure how to feel about the female that okay. is the boyfriend's best friend. Okay, um, because she's kind of standoffish whenever the girlfriend came around and I'm forgetting girlfriend's name. You'll have to forgive me. So I'm just calling her girlfriend. Right. So girlfriend was feeling like she was very standoffish. Okay. Um, anything else? Didn't add her back on Snapchat or am I making that up? Yeah. Like didn't follow her back or something. Didn't follow her back. But like, it was just like, interesting. The girl basically like, didn't make an effort to be friends with her. Right. And she was, and like, she wasn't and worried was... about her boyfriend because she trusts her boyfriend with her life. Oh Love my God. That for her. Good seriously. For her. Stupid. But she was but just fine. Not, yeah. Not loving the dynamic. Okay. So you don't think, a girl and a guy can be friends. No, 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 no. I never said that. She. I have a best friend named Ryan. I think you met him. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Have you? I don't know. I don't. Anyway. Yes. I have a best friend and his name is Ryan, but I always, always make a point to be really nice to his right. girlfriends because I yeah. do not want them to right. think that I'm trying yeah. to, right. to bang him. So that right. was, right. You no, know, and you don't want, no. you don't want someone to think that you want to bang them. Right. Unless, unless, unless you want to bang them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're all on the same page. Yeah, I, I agree. I believe so. Don't make someone think you want to bang them. Right. Unless, unless you, you want, want to bang, bang them. Or even if you, I would go as far as to say, even if you do want to bang them. Don't let them know. Don't let them know. Absolutely not. Right. What's the point? Right. Yeah. Unless they just, are 
Well, let's get let's okay, go back. Let's okay. go back so, to this. Anyway, sorry, we received an email. Okay, that subject line: "I'm the girl best friend from the last <gasps> episode." So they're oh both listening. My God, hey girls, <laughs> you guys are doing amazing. And I'm going to now <laughs> move forward with reading this email to you out loud <laughs> no. via microphone. I'm gonna vomit. Read it. Ready? No. I'm gonna do it. I don't know for sure if I'm the girl best friend from the email last week, but I very well could be slash might as well be. So maybe this isn't her, but she's in the same kind of situation. Right, right, right. Um, Oh my God, forgive me for losing my spot. I feel terrible. Thank you. My best friend is a straight man and I'm a bisexual woman. We instantly clicked when we first met. It was as if we had been best friends for our entire lives. I'm going to stop you right there. You're in love with him. I'm going to stop you right there. Yes. So we instantly clicked when we instantly first met. Instantly clicked is an immediate. So I think I remember calling my mom the day after I met Cody mm-hmm. saying, instantly we instantly clicked. clicked when we first met. Right. So as if we've been best friends our entire right. lives. Right. Right. So immediate red flag going yeah, off in my absolutely. head. Yeah. Here's the thing. We did go through a period of time where we would hook up quite a bit. Oh, <laughs> shocking. As friends. You got me. <laughs> Just as, as friends. friends. We were making love. <laughs> we but were collabing. We were collabing. With our via, bodies. Yeah. But we ultimately decided it was probably a bad idea. Right. Wow. Shocking. Yeah. We decided if we wanted to stay in each other's lives forever, we were better off as friends, so we cut out the benefits. Okay. All right. I know our relationship is unique, and I'd be lying if I said I don't still wonder if one day we'll end up together. I mean... She's in love with him. No offense. Absolutely. Um, this, is a, this is a Cassie situation. Yeah. If I were to start dating someone who was uncomfortable with my relationship with him, that would be a deal breaker, to be honest. Friendship soulmates exist. Okay. okay. It would be a deal breaker mm. for in for what? For who, <laughs> babe? Babe. You're thinking, babe? Hey, babe. So friendship babe, soulmates babe, 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 do babe, babe, exist. Babe, 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 babe. They, they don't ever fuck, though. They don't ever fuck, and they don't say... I can't confidently say we won't end up together. No, this you cannot say that you right. are friendship soulmates with this person. No, because you can't say that you instantly clicked with your, your bodies. Right. right, you clicked so Mine. many times. Apparently, like, right. yeah, you don't move on from that. No. Once you know each other intimately, you could just you, acknowledge that. I well, I think that like you just you can't pretend that you're just friends right. all the time. No. It seems that you might even be suppressing some feelings that you have. I'm I'm thinking that you are, but I'm, I'm think- curious so is she the person from the I, other I because she's not saying that the guy has a girlfriend now or a boyfriend. We need more. Uh, I think we need more info. Well, she, I mean, maybe just the fact that she said I'm the girl is her saying yeah. that she has a girlfriend. She said she might as well be. My- if I were to start dating someone who was uncomfortable with my relationship with him, that would, oh, if, oh, so she's saying she would break up with her boyfriend if he was uncomfortable. Right. And with, I think she's saying that like he should break up with her, the other girl who's like, I agree that that's implied. But you know what? Like that other girl just doesn't feel comfortable because of, because you're not being kind to her. Right. It's not because of In your addition, relationship yeah. with him. If you were being kind to her, she wouldn't care. And but it also not, does seem like you, you are in love with him. him. I yeah. also think that this whole thing is just a conversation with the dude. That, yeah. Who's oh, like yeah. Fully they're using us. That both of these girls <laughs> oh, are emailing. They're literally using us to get to <laughs> yeah. him. Yeah. So if I was dating such a lame bitch, then maybe I <laughs> wouldn't I'd break up with her or something. That's gonna be the email right. next week. Yeah. Hey, I'm the guy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so in summary, I, I in summary, think get you, over yeah, it. Perhaps I yeah. I'm team. And I'm so sorry to say this. I'm team other girl. Yeah. I feel horrible, but I don't. And, and you know what? If he is your friendship soulmate and you do want to keep a friendship with him, then I would be nice to Good his point, girlfriend. Good point, Then I would completely Make a point. switch up. Right. Or, be nice. Yeah. Hook up with her. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Actually, list. not a bad Not call. a bad idea. Just Hook to like throw him. another email on the loop. Yeah, yeah, we'd love to keep this going. So if you guys yeah. could keep fucking each other, that would be <laughs> That would amazing. be really helpful for us. Thank Euphoria you. season three. Okay, so email number two came in. Oh, this one immediately caught my eye. This one, Brooke flagged. Subject <laughs> line, found out my crush is gay. Love it. Um, I probably, I'll read it and then okay. Brooke, I think you'll have a lot to say. Okay. Hope you guys are doing well. How I, however, am not. So basically, I have been crushing on this boy. I literally never talk, I literally never talked to since late October. Unfortunately, I romanticized an entire relationship with him. And I'm emotionally attached to him. Long story short. I did find out he's gay. Mm -hmm. I literally don't know what to do because I fell in love with the idea of him. Recently, I've been feeling lonely, but no guys I've talked to have met my standards. Being a decent person isn't an... Oh, this is her standards. (laughs) 
Being a decent person. Okay. Oh, the bar oh. is. Okay. So bar being is high. a decent person. Isn't a Trump supporter, same interest, and isn't solely sexually interested in me. As I'm writing this, Valentine's Day is one week away from today. I hope that was okay. And I have to see my crush who's gay on that day. I just don't know what to do at all. How do I get over my crush? How do I stop romanticizing people? I don't know. Mm-hmm. How do I get a boyfriend? Please help. Anyways, I love the pod and hope you guys can give me some advice. Right. Oh, I didn't see the last part about giving her advice because unfortunately I am in pretty much the same boat. But Kels, maybe you could. No, I, oh, you don't have advice. I've, this, um, I don't, I don't really know what to say. Oh. Well, let me try to take that yeah, away. Yeah, I would, you should get in there. I just relate so hard because every night before I go to sleep, I cannot go to sleep unless I pick one of my crushes from a very long detailed list I have on my phone and create an entire life from first meeting to watching our grandchildren. Are you on. playing solo mash? But, yeah, no, solo, I, I've okay. already, I've completed the mash. Basically. You should do mash. You should play mash with them. That would like spice up with your crack. nightly routine. Kelsey, that is, you are so smart. Well, it was so Connor's I did bring idea. It up it was right Connor's Kelsey, you are, Kelsey, you <laughs> are <just laughs> absolutely a genius. It was Connor. <laughs> so Connor, what it's the okay. fuck? Kelsey, you, you are the smartest it. girl I know. It's okay. Um, I gave it to you. Well, yeah, no, I mean. But anyway, a lot uh, like concocting these elaborate fantasies yeah. that I truly like, it gets a little scary how yeah, I start yeah. to convince myself they're real. Anyway, a few years ago, was crushing on this boy in real life and started having these fantasies with him okay and this boy i had met like once or twice mm. and so by the third time we had met in my head we've got two kids right you know yeah so when i met him and he was like hey how are you what's your name again oh imagine yeah the shock soul crushing Devastating. soul crushing to think that 10 minutes ago we were happily married right. and now you're asking what my name is yeah like 50 I, first dates I really oh my god had a 50 first dates yeah had brain like a, injury. yeah maybe a good point That's but that is. is so hard to have your like what you built up in your head kind of be shattered like that so i can really relate to you and my you, advice would be to just move forward with doing that building celebrities up in your head so are you saying she should find like kind of a new crush she's never new, spoken to and i'm saying and this is probably like pretty unhealthy and again i'm not qualified to give advice mm-hmm. If you need to unhealthily obsess in your head, do it in a healthier way. Oh. Because you wouldn't tell a drug addict, <laughs> stop doing drugs. You God would tell forbid, them, no. do drugs in a better way. Okay. Okay, I'm going to control the amount of drugs you're doing. So I would say, pick a celebrity instead of a famous person. So I'm thinking- A, c- a I, celebrity in, <laughs> instead of- Instead of, oh, instead of somebody you know. that you know in real life. Well, sh- they don't actually know each other. So like, they've never spoken. I don't know him at mm, all. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say- I think this is, was maybe just me reading this one sentence of this and me wanting to talk. I think that, I think it's you good. needed to get that I off needed to chest. get that off of my chest because um, that's the best advice I, I really feel like I could offer you. I think, how about this? And for, for both <laughs> of you guys, um, how about when you are having these thoughts mm-hmm. at the end of every sentence, yeah. you say to yourself, but it's also this isn't real. Good point. And Kelsey. also I don't know him and, and this isn't going to happen. You have to maybe like give yourself mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. just, you just have to be a little bit more honest. Yeah. With yourself. That. And I would also say, this is something my therapist told me. So this is actually certified advice. Oh, okay. Use those qualities that you're building up in your head of this person. Know that that person doesn't exist, but use that to inform your what you, you know you want. Like, okay, I'm That's thinking beautiful of beautiful advice. Yeah. That's probably what you should have said the entire time. I didn't, time. I didn't right. understand. Right. That. Okay, I it's think... because it wasn't English. So if you wouldn't mind me rephrasing that in a way <laughs> it that was, maybe it was perfect. Understand. I really? think you should start hyper fixating on the fact that he is gay. Oh, okay, and that reframe too. this as just like yeah. Good point. This is impossible. Oh yeah, he's gay like, by the way. Okay. So he's gay. Yeah, For, left like, that so out. So just hyper fixate on, anyway, on that. Anyway, Connor, I think it's good advice. So I want to reword it because okay. I don't think I worded that well. It is really well. good advice. What did I say, Kels? I'm already. For- <laughs> <laughs> so you said that you're. Oh, said- if you're thinking of somebody in your head and building this person, and up, they have all these. You're qualities. creating a fake person, right. right? But they do have qualities that you really want in a person. Right. So you use that fake person to inform what you want in a real person. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you get that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. So like if I'm fantasizing about Harry Styles right. and I'm thinking of him, this isn't real Harry Styles, but my version of Harry Styles is funny, 
sweet, mm. asks you how asks your day was. I'm doing. I can now use those qualities as the blueprint for somebody for that I'm looking for. Yeah. And while acknowledging she knows what she wants. that it's not really Harry Styles. That's she knows great. what she wants. That's great. Yeah. So healthy. Are Again, you okay still do this? drugs, do them in a better way. Yeah, no, I think that's I, great. I mm-hmm. agree with that. Yeah. I think Connor seems pissed. I, I no, I'm not pissed. Jealous? Why would I be pissed? I think you thought I've it never, would be a good idea to have me on and now you seem I'm like you so hate me. I'm so chill and laid back. I just mentioned my Barnes & Noble moment earlier and it, oh. I was actually having a... a oh my ab- God, you're going to shake having, your pants. I was having an internal sesh okay. with my brain. Okay, body check, full body check. Full body check. Yeah. Don't sharp. Okay, well... I'm wearing white pants. Good news for you, Connor. You are free to go to the bathroom in just a minute after <laughs> um, we call Riley. Yeah, How let's call Riley. I Wait, I'm Riley. so excited that we're actually yeah. calling someone. We're physically going to call, call someone. Do we get caller? to see her? Riley, I don't think... I know, I think we'll just hear her. Okay. Yeah. But she is like the therapist friend. I'm not sure if, you sh- if she's a certified therapist or is like the therapist of her friend group. Okay. Um, but oh, she, she's giving us She's advice? giving us advice because you might have picked up on the fact that Connor and I are really not great at advice, but we can interest you in a sarcastic comment. Yeah. Also, oh, I think we should. And I thought she was going to call in with a problem and we were going to get to talk to her. She's going to give us advice. I think. Oh, you hate that. Oh, I love that. Ollie. Riley. I feel like she's okay. already listening. They're going <laughs> to, they're going to give her a call real quick. Yeah. I also think, Oh, oh, she's, oh, she's oh on my line. God. Oh, I feel like I'm on the radio. Wait, oh, no. Who wants to say something first? You. Oh, yeah. no, Connor. You. Connor. Okay. You. Okay. Hello. Hey, Riley. Hey, Connor. This is, this is Connor, and you have Brooke, How and you have Kelsey. You? Hey, Riley. Oh my God. Hey, Ri- hey, Riley. Hi, guys. How are you? We are You're hanging so in there. Good. So happy to be talking to you today. How we, are you? Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's, that's amazing. Good. Did you have a great week and weekend as well? Well, honestly, so mm-hmm. I live mm-hmm. in Pennsylvania. Let's get into it. And the weather Me too. Is, Where do you yes. live in Pennsylvania? <laughs> so, well, I you were like Philadelphia, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm like Pittsburgh, so like opposite okay. side. Well, my brother yeah. went to Pitt, so that's great. Maybe you know him, Noah Averick. No, I don't. Oh, okay, oh, that's fine. He's, he's hunky. No, so okay. cute, hunky. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay, <laughs> but. It's like it's like been snowing a lot here, and now it's like fifty three degrees. The sun's out, so honestly, I'm living. Oh, that's amazing! <laughs> that is great. Yeah. So spring break alert. So <laughs> you mentioned in your in your message that you're the therapist friend. Are you? Yeah. Is that like? Are you <laughs> saying out of your friend group, you would you're the one that people go to with their yes, issues? And, yeah, and I was in school for psychology for a while until COVID oh, wow. kind of ruined everything. So yeah. How old are you? I'm 22. Okay, cool. Okay, wow. So, <laughs> Kels, do you feel like Kels, you're the yeah. therapist friend? I'm feeling that way. I, I do, kind of. Um, sometimes, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. But so, Riley, what do you <laughs> want? Do you want Brooke and Con to like ask you some questions and you can tell them some advice? Or like, how do you want this to work? Yeah, I mean, honestly, whatever. I know Connor said that he like wants some money advice, and okay, oh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's Connor. I mean, do you have advice what, for him? Are you like in what, his finances? Yeah. Like, I, and Connor, what do you struggle with the most when it comes to your finances? When it comes to my finances, I struggle with um, spending. I struggle with saving. <laughs> I struggle with investing. Mm-hmm. I struggle with yes. Um, like, what even is money? I don't really right, understand it. Like, right. mm-hmm. I have Nobody to. Do- does. So, yeah, I guess if you could give me one piece of financial advice right now so with true. no information on my end, <laughs> right? what would you give? Because anything um, will work. I'll take any anything you got. Please, Riley. So we need you. as a 22-year-old that right. lives at my mom's house and doesn't have rent, mm-hmm. right, I right, go right, by right, the right. rule Please. of, yeah, I mean, I go by the rule of like 50, 30, 20. So... I take 50% Those of my paycheck and I put that, <laughs> I put that towards my like bills and like expenses for the month and stuff like that. And then okay, I'll that's take the that 50? extra, yeah. Okay. So then I'll take like 30% and that's like my like out to eat money, going out, mm-hmm. like nice. shopping, you know, that kind of Love stuff. Mm-hmm. And then that 20% is like what I'm putting into my savings account. So, mm, absolutely. Yeah. 20% into the savings. That is really good advice. Wait, where That's did the 50 beautiful. go? That's expenses. The 50s, expenses, bills. Oh. Yeah. 
How sad is that? That fifty percent of our stuff, our, our income, oh. goes to goes to stuff. Yeah, so sad. Literally. Yeah, stuff we have <laughs> to, to pay for. Yeah, yeah stuff, breathe, stuff, we, stuff we need should be free. Mm-hmm. Good so point. True. Um, Riley, Good point, that Connor. was really, really Riley, great. That was advice. insightful. Fifty, Thank thirty, twenty. Thank you, Riley. Um, yeah, now, course. now, Brooke. Yeah. What are you gonna ask Riley about? I, I guess I'm asking for. Do you have any good dating advice? Like um, going yeah. on dates, etc. Yeah. What's your relationship status, if so. you don't mind me asking? No, that's completely fine. So my boyfriend and I have been together for like mm. a little bit over a year now. Mm-hmm. And okay, nice. Do long distance. So oh, right. wow. Super hard. Yeah. yeah. Can I ask how you met? Yeah, so we actually went to high school together, but he was a few years younger than me. And Ooh. over cool. January... <laughs> It's okay. He's 21. I'm 22. So, you know, it's oh, okay. Oh, yeah. my God. Scary. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we met at the gym. So that was nice. Mm. Jesus. That won't that's be happening happen for me, me. At, this, at this difficult time. Do yeah. you have any advice on meeting someone mm-hmm. for Brooke? Mm-hmm. Honestly, I, so I like, honestly, I'm in like the best relationship ever. Like, we have really strong communication. We, you know, talk as much as we can, like, about our days and just, you know, stuff like that but i would say like when you stop looking is whenever that person comes and that's to what kelsey that just told me i did say that as well today. yeah yeah because yeah, that's kind of what happened i like wasn't really like looking for anything and this you person was working out was in my lap yeah wow literally. wow literally what were you doing and she at said the, gym? the perfect guy fell, fell in her lap. lap was that you in that the was literal the sense exact yeah. language you? <laughs> yeah but i wish i wish that's how it would have happened uh me too well Thank you so much thank for, you, for coming Riley. on. We are going to yeah, wrap up course. over here, but you're the best, and thank you for Riley, listening. thank you so thank much. You, thank Riley. you, guys. Of course. Have a great and day. Before I go, congratulations on the engagement. Oh, Woo. thank you. <laughs> you're Thanks, welcome. Riley. Riley. Thanks for calling, guys. All right, we Thanks love for, you. We love you. Thanks for having us, Rye. All right, we love you, too. Bye. 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 Wait, Kelsey's engaged, by the way. Oh shoot! Yeah, we totally skipped we, right past we did that. Skip oh right my past god, that. totally fine. We, I mean, Kels, I think Riley's going to be engaged soon. Yeah, I, I think I, it I, sounds I like fear, it. I fear that she will. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh, so <laughs> well, we can talk about the engagement <laughs> if we want. I, w- I would love to talk about the engagement, and I think yeah. What do you guys want to chat about about it? I think it'd be cool to hear, like, from your experience, like. Did you first figure out? Did you know it was happening that day? That day, yeah. What okay. was the day like? Okay. I mean, I'd be happy to tell you kind Connor, of like how bedtime story. Shit wise, how are we doing? Mm-hmm. Oh, guys, I am so good. Oh, okay. oh, my God. You know, me being an adult and all, right. I am able to control. It's 50, 50, 30, 20. How bad do you have to shit right now? <laughs> I would say, <laughs> I would say, uh, it's more of an 80. Okay. Okay. All 80, 20. 80, 80, 20. 20, 20 would be my self control. 80, okay. 80 would be being the clock is ticking pants, away. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sounds yeah. good. Cool. Um, so we'll make this. Do you want me to sit here and talk about myself? Or do you I would just, love to. Yeah, Kels, It'd actually please. probably help okay. me. Please. And I'll make it quick. Um, so Cody told me at the beginning of the year, mm-hmm. 2021. Yeah. That he was going to propose. Right. He was like sometime this year. Because I couldn't stop asking him right. about him. Right. You know? Of course. Right. Um, so I was. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> Connor's so into this. Um, <laughs> so he said by the end of this year, babe, by the end of the year. Babe. Ba- by the end of 2021. By the end of 2021. And I was like, okay, cool. So then for the rest of the year, every single thing that we did. Mm hmm. Whether it was like, he was like, do you want to just go for a walk on right. like a Tuesday mm. right. at 12 right. p.m. Or like, we're going to go to the beach. Whatever it was, I was like, I can't believe he's about to propose to me. Right. Of course. Every single thing for the That's entire year. That's also me when I meet someone for the third <laughs> right. time. So I wouldn't worry about <laughs> <Right>. it. <laughs> Perfect. That's so that, And that was a quality I knew I wanted in him. Yeah. Was I wanted him to propose. Right. So I knew that's what I wanted you, yes. because I had imagined you it. had manifested that yes. mm. via via delusion. Right. <laughs> right. So <laughs> via being delusional. So he told me that and I was like, okay, every single thing we did, he's going to, this is the proposal. And then it got to be December. And when, once ticking. it got to be December, yeah. I was like, he doesn't want to marry me. And this is so mortifying that he told me by the end of the mm-hmm. year and that he now has changed his mind and he doesn't want to marry me. And I called Emma. 
who we know and yeah, love, Emma. Yep, yep. Emma was one of my best friends. We went to college together, and I called her, and I was like, "He doesn't want to marry me," and I was crying, and I was sad. Mm-hmm. And she was like, "You need to relax. This is like real, kind of pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> like he's gonna marry you. You just don't know when." Yeah. And I was like, "Okay, whatever." I was sad, and I wasn't being very nice to him because mm-hmm. I was mad. Right. You know. Right. And then my cousins came into town. Mm. Oh, I love the Kreppel cousins. Yes. Julia, et cetera. Julia, Lauren, Lauren Caroline. Caroline. Crew. Yeah. I love them. <laughs> yeah. So we, Julia came into town. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Julia. Just, I, I do want you to keep in mind that I am wearing white pants. <laughs> so you asked me and I no, 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 please go gave on, you please the go out. On. Julia, Lauren. <laughs> What's the, the other one's name? Kendra. Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Caroline. Caroline. Yeah, right. Julia came into town. She was like, let's go get our nails done. I was like, uh, oh my God, it's going to happen. Yeah. Got my nails done. Didn't happen. Then like a week later, we all went to brunch. And when we went to brunch, Cody was like, I have to like sign these papers. I don't know. He started talking about papers and I stopped listening mm-hmm. immediately because that's what always happens. Right. So he brings up signing papers and then he was like, I have to go out to Malibu to do it. So like you guys can just meet me out there after. Uh-huh. And I was like, that's the stupidest fucking idea you've ever had. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going out there. It's a waste of our day. Mm-hmm. It's my cousin's last day in town. Right. And he was like, I think you really should. My cousin's were like, we really want to. And so I was being kind of a bitch and I was like, absolutely not. And you had no idea? I had stopped hoping at this point. Uh-huh. Everything to me was like, it was going to happen. Mm-hmm. And then it kept not that I was like, there's just no way it's right, going to happen. Anymore. Right. So I'm putting my foot down. Uh huh. I'm not going to Malibu. Right, right. And then he was like, please, I'll call your parents. Like, because they were supposed to come to dinner, like mm-hmm. by me. And I was like, he's like, I'll call them, tell them to come to Malibu, whatever. And I was like, this is so stupid. But my cousins wanted to. So let's get in the Uber and let's go. So we did. And then when I walked in, and he was not yet present in the room, mm-hmm. but he was in the room. In the room, there was flowers and candles. Oh. And then they sat me down and all my parents and his parents and my best friends, everyone was like sitting there. They sat me down. They put on a move. Like he made me like a video. <laughs> oh my God. Of like all of the moments of us from the last four mm-hmm. years. Chili was there. You crying, bro? No, I'm just smiling. Don't cry. Cause I'll cry. No, I'm I not cry crying. A lot. Okay. <laughs> I'm not um, crying. I can probably make myself cry if you guys are going to cry. I can make myself cry no. too. Oh, I can. But I won't. Okay. If you anyway. just stare at something and don't blink, you can. Uh, okay. Yeah, think about it. Yeah, think um, about it. But so I did that and uh, I watched the video. Everyone's crying. I got to watch it with like all my best friends and sobbing? my parents. I was crying, yes. Mm-hmm. Pretty pretty hard. Uh huh. And then it was like, come to the beach. I have a question for you. So then I walked onto the beach. Everyone stayed behind watching like from afar. Oh my God, I almost just threw up. And then I walked onto the beach. I walked onto the beach and then he was out there and he was Was he on one knee? He was sobbing. (gasps) He was, Cody, I know you're watching. I know you're nodding your head because you were sobbing as well. You were sobbing. He could barely say the words. Oh my God. Got down on his knee and then we got engaged. Wow. Adorable. Easiest yes. The easiest Mm -hmm. yes. Wow. Yeah. And then I, and then we we partied the night away. Wow. That is really going to be a new nighttime scenario. Really? Yeah. Okay, for, for like me. Yeah. Yeah, that is a really beautiful story. It, it, he really like exceeded every expectation I had. Wow. I didn't know what to expect. Cody kiss your brain. Yeah, Cody kiss your kiss brain. Kiss your brain. Make out with your brain. Make it Seriously. out. I did hear that you walked past like a giant oh, yeah, dead yeah, yeah. seal carcass. I did. I and did. didn't notice. I didn't notice at all. So, it's like it was massive like walrus. Like a giant seal. Or seal. Whoa. Sea lion. I don't know, and I somehow walked like pretty much <laughs> over it to get to him and didn't think twice. I I don't the beach to me, mm-hmm. there's a lot of trash, you know? Sure. There's like logs. Right. There's shit getting washed up all the time. It yeah. always smells. You were also probably like, I'm getting engaged, like this dead body on the ground. Right. Like that mm. means nothing. Not I my don't problem. even see it. Not, not my, my problem. Not my issue. Do not care yeah. about that. Yeah. No, this is about me mm-hmm. and Cody. Mm-hmm. Um, so I stepped, I didn't even notice it. And then on the walk back, I noticed it. And then I started posing with it, right. taking pictures. Of course. Thought it was funny. That is pretty funny. 
to the big guy. Maybe we could insert one of those pictures. I have, yeah. Mm. I'll send onto the screen if that's possible via te- technology. And I just remembered that I still have a mounted canvas of you and Cody in my car that I have not given you. Connor that made us a gift. So sweet. Day of, and it's been in my car and it scares the shit out of me every time I get in because it, it's your head. Mm. I see it when I get into the car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you have it today? Yeah. Okay, we'll car. grab it. Yeah. But like I get in and it looks like someone is like crouched down <laughs> below my seat. Like Kelsey's hair is like poking out and it oh, always no. looks like there's someone that's going to scare me. It's just me. It's and it's just, just Kels. Kels. And it's just Kels. And she's the every safest time. space of them all. Yeah. So it actually ends wow. up being like a little nice thing. I did move yeah. it to my trunk, so I didn't have to have that experience. Oh every my God. Time. Oh well, bye. It, bye. <laughs> well, guys, we have got to go. We, we have got to get out <laughs> of here. Something is telling me I got to say bye. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what. Um, but guys, thank you so much for listening. And Kelsey, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much and for having that me. Was, Connor, that was so easy. This was and so, it was so much you. fun. Yeah, Brooke, I could. Connor, you're fine. I'll see you. You're completely mm. fine. Whatever. That's um, sweet. Come back whenever you want. Seriously, oh, things I can tell that you meant B and, that. B, C, and K. <laughs> B, C, and K. B, C, and K. Make yeah. a pod. Okay. Um, and don't forget to follow B and C, M, A, P on all platforms. Brooke mm-hmm. and Connor, mm-hmm. make a podcast anywhere you can listen to podcasts. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to smash it, you smash guys. Smash it. Smash that motherfucking subscribe button. <laughs> and like and comment and email us. And emails, uh, here's my specific ask Mm -hmm. for next week in the emails. It may change week by week. I don't know. But email us at dearbnc at gmail.com. I want to hear some hot takes next week. Okay. Ooh. I want to hear some specific. What's your hottest take? Not, no, I wasn't asking you. Sorry. I was asking you. I was going to say, I don't want to do that. Oh, I was going to answer. Oh, Justin Timberlake sucks. I agree completely. Well, Senorita is one of my favorite oh, songs. Good, that's oh, that's song. a great song. Good good song. Good song. Good that's makes, a good song. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Move and okay. Okay. Shake and okay. Bye guys. Bye. Bye Love guys. you guys. Thanks for, Thanks for watching.